Silastazole is used to improve the symptoms of a certain blood flow problem in the legs, known as intermittent claudication. This medication can decrease the muscle pain and cramps that occur during exercise or walking. Claudication pain is caused by too little oxygen getting to the muscles, and silastazole can increase blood flow and the amount of oxygen that gets to the muscles. It is an antiplatelet drug and a vasodilator, which means it works by stopping blood cells called platelets from sticking together and prevents them from forming harmful clots. It also widens blood vessels in the legs, helping the blood to move more easily and keeps blood flowing smoothly in your body. The recommended daily dosage of silastazole is typically taken twice a day, 30 minutes before or 2 hours after breakfast and dinner. It's important to take this medication at the same times each day for the best results. Before taking silastazole, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually twice daily, at least 30 minutes before or 2 hours after breakfast and dinner. The dosage is based on your medical condition, response to treatment, and other medications you may be taking. Use this medication regularly at the same times each day to get the most benefit from it. Your symptoms may improve in 2 to 4 weeks, but it may take up to 12 weeks before you get the full benefit of this drug. If your condition lasts or gets worse, be sure to tell your doctor. Some common side effects of silastazole include headache, diarrhea, runny nose, and dizziness. If these effects persist or worsen, notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people taking this medication do not experience serious side effects. Contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as swelling of the hands or feet, easy bruising or bleeding, black or bloody stools, vomiting that looks like coffee grounds, or signs of infection like a persistent sore throat or fever. Seek medical help right away if you experience very serious side effects, including chest, jaw, or left arm pain, fainting, fast or irregular heartbeat, severe dizziness, changes in vision, weakness on one side of the body, trouble speaking, or confusion. While a severe allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek immediate medical help if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching or swelling of the face, tongue, or throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. If you have heart failure, you should not use silastazole or any similar medications, as they have been known to cause serious or fatal problems in people with this condition. It is important to talk to your doctor before taking silastazole to ensure that it is safe for you. Silastazole is used to improve the symptoms of a certain blood flow problem in the legs slash arms, intermittent claudication. It helps the blood flow more easily and decreases the pain and cramping in the legs slash arms. This medication can be taken with or without food, usually twice daily, or as directed by your doctor. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. It is best to take silastazole at the same time each day. Before taking silastazole, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies or if you have a history of certain medical conditions. This medication may cause dizziness, so it's important to avoid driving or using machinery until you know how it affects you. It's also important to be cautious with sharp objects and to avoid contact sports to lower the chance of injury. Using alcohol while taking silastazole may increase your risk for stomach bleeding, so it's best to limit alcoholic beverages. This medication can also affect the heart rhythm, so it's important to discuss any existing medical conditions or other medications you are taking with your doctor before using silastazole. It's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use before having surgery. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, and pregnant or breastfeeding women should discuss the risks and benefits of using silastazole with their doctor. When taking silastazole, it's important to be aware of potential interactions with other medications. 
This includes blood thinners, certain antiplatelet drugs, and other drugs that may increase your risk of bleeding. It's crucial to communicate with your doctor and pharmacist about all the products you use, both prescription and non-prescription, as well as herbal products. If you are taking other medications that may increase your risk of bleeding, such as certain antiplatelet drugs or pain relievers slash fever reducers, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details and to report any unusual bleeding. If you are directed to take low-dose aspirin to prevent heart attack or stroke, it's important to continue taking it unless your doctor advises otherwise. Always ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details and clarification. If someone takes too much celostazole and experiences serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 or a poison control center immediately. In the U.S., you can contact your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include a severe headache, a very fast or irregular heartbeat, and severe dizziness. It's important not to share celostazole with others, as it is prescribed specifically for your condition. It's recommended to discuss with your doctor about starting an exercise program to help improve walking and reduce pain, in addition to taking celostazole. While taking this medication, you may need to undergo lab tests such as complete blood count. Be sure to keep all scheduled medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more details. It's important to take celostazole exactly as prescribed by your doctor, and to not adjust the dosage without consulting with them first. Typically, the recommended daily dosage is 100 mg taken orally twice a day, at least half an hour before or two hours after breakfast and dinner. It's important to take this medication at the same times each day to maintain a consistent level in your body. If you forget to take a dose of celostazole, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store celostazole at room temperature away from light and moisture, and don't keep it in the bathroom. Always keep medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposal, don't flush celostazole down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard this product and it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this properly. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.